Thank you, Steve. Now we have a partner keynote called The Future of Sensor Technology by Jason Jacob, Vice President, Product Management, Sensors at TE Connectivity. Jason, please take it away. Hi, my name is Jason Jacob. I'm the VP of Product for Sensors at TE Connectivity. Now today, I'm gonna to talk about the future of sensor technologies. Now, as everyone knows, sensors are everywhere, providing data and helping to make decisions. As everything becomes smarter, sensor content will only increase. I mean, it's changing our habits um, for consumers and, and as sensors get deployed everywhere in your daily life. Um, it's, it's changing your habits with your phone, um, with sensors in your home, and even in your vehicle. And now you're using sensors to, to even connect to remote things like controlling your lighting, your security system, your sprinklers, and, and even in pest control. So I'm going to talk through some of the trends that are happening in industrial and in medical markets. While the macro trends across markets are, are very similar, the implications to sensor components may be, may be very different. Let's talk about our goal at TE Connectivity. We're enabling a safer, sustainable, and productive connected future. We're focused on getting sensors into remote locations and enabling sensing technology that can measure things that previously were, were impossible. 80% of our products today are designed for the world's harshest environments. And when we talk about re remote sensing, connectivity plays a big part of that. As we see the remote sensing with wireless um, become deployed in, in customer systems, we're already hearing savings of, of over 30% in operating costs. We have over 30 years of designing sensor components for medical and industrial applications. Now, our breadth of experience allows us to solve problems, understand the solution, and then apply that knowledge into different markets. That allows us to get in front of a lot of our customer and industry needs um, ahead of when they actually need it. We've deployed over 125 million sensors um, just in the past two years alone. Now let's talk about some of the growing trends um, that are evolving in sensors. You know, the, me the mega trends that you hear are around connected devices, edge and cloud computing, machine learning, and, and even lower power as more things become better out. Now, what I want to talk about is, is really what, what we see happening in industrial and, and in medical. You know, harsh environments are a big focus for us with complicated implications to, to electronic components. Our products and components are getting smaller, so miniaturization is important. Um, and what we have to take into account is that while our customer products are getting smaller, there is more sensor content that continues to grow. Um, so, so it makes the problem a bit more complicated. Now, more sensors mean more data. And sensor fusion is really around how to take those data streams from different sensors and make quicker and more accurate decisions. So let's first talk about harsh environments. Our customers want to put sensors in locations and environments that, that are not friendly for electronic devices and even for, for people. You know, these systems today are, are mostly mechanical. Um, and as they, as they move into electrical components, they need parts that can, that can survive some of their harsh environmental needs. Now, these harsh environments are, are, can be exposed to dangerous liquids, gases, explosives, even high vibration and shock. Um, and some even have extreme temperatures, whether that's extremely hot or cold. So you can imagine the benefits of putting remote sensors in applications like this. By enabling this, it creates a safer environment for employees, it can reduce operating costs, and even allow less downtime for equipment by predicting maintenance needs ahead of, ahead of something breaking. Now, as you can imagine, designing products for applications like this can be tremendously more difficult than taking a consumer product and, and putting it in a rugged environment. You know, special considerations um, on how these electronics are designed, built, packaged, and even tested um, becomes important because they have to maintain a reliable stream of critical data for many years to come. 
And especially in these environments, these environments can often be unpredictable. Some of these applications also require proper certifications to ensure that they're safe to use um, where there's explosive gases and, and even hazardous materials. We're excited to offer some new products that are fully encapsulated and certified to be intrinsically safe. Today, these are actively being deployed on oil and gas assets um, and can be found inside refineries for, for pump and valve monitoring. They can be found in oil and gas wells to monitor tank levels, flow rates, uh, and even pressure. It's an exciting area for us and our customers as the benefits of sensor adoption lead to a safer, more productive environment um, across many different industries. The next trend is around miniaturization. You know, many, many industrial and medical applications are, are getting smaller and smaller. Um, medical equipment that was once stationary in found in a hospital or in an office is, has now become portable. Now you can imagine this equipment is now getting moved from across a hospital or put in ambulances or even put in the outside environment. Now, at the same time, as these applications get smaller, they're also getting smarter. Um, require, requiring multiple sensors in a smaller footprint with no degradation of performance. Maintaining sensitivity and accuracy as you shrink a product creates unique engineering challenges, but the benefits can be amazing. Miniaturization allows us now to sense things that were previously impossible, creating new capabilities. Our IntraSense products, um, which is what you see shown um, in the little circle, is 80% smaller than a grain of rice. Now, this pressure sensor um, is used in many invasive procedures. Um, now, a smaller sensor enables measurement where it matters. Now, and that point of measurement can provide real-time feedback versus measuring something outside of the body. Now, IntraSense pressure sensors allow measurement of blood pressure in the heart rather than in an artery that's on the arm. It can measure pressure that's in kidneys during a stone removal versus measuring the pressure in a saline system. Now, products like this lead to safer and more accurate diagnosis and better decision-making ultimately can lead to improved recovery time and even lower costs. Now, another technology that we're excited about is our piezo-resistive film. Now, when we talk about miniaturization, we're normally talking about things getting smaller. Now, with piezo-resistive film, if piezo, the film is so thin and so flexible, it can be woven into fabric, chairs, and even a mattress. We're actively deploying this technology to enable vital sign monitoring, um, and also sleep monitoring. It's sensitive enough to monitor a person's heart rate, their respiration, and even subtle movements, which can give consumers analytic analytics on their health and sleep patterns. This can give, give um, a better understanding on potential medical issues and, and treat them in advance of when they become bigger problems. Now, the last trend I'm gonna talk about is sensor fusion. When you have more sensors, you have more data points for decision-making, which in turn leads to better accuracy uh, to provide predictive analytics. Now, even if you think about the fusion of senses in your, in your body, you know, the sense of, of taste, smell, and touch ultimately can lead to a better decision than, than one of those independently. And the fusion of sensor data um, can happen in the cloud. Um, or in the actual sensor device itself, where you have multiple sensors in a common package or footprint. Now, this creates, um, creates some simplicity for our customers' products, as it, one, greatly reduces the size, but also reduces the complexity of the overall system, as you have more sensors aggregated in, into, into one spot. Um, now, that aggregation allows for, for faster and more accurate decisions. We have many products like this that are used in, in a variety of applications. Um, from a medical side, we, we have leading sensor technology in medical pumps that combine force sensing and air bubble detect uh, in a single part. 
Now, products like this help guarantee medicine is being delivered properly by detecting um, line blockages and air bubbles that can be in the line. Now, now this is important during procedures that physicians know if, if tubes are kinked, which you know ultimately could prevent medicine from being from being dispersed correctly. And if air bubbles are in the line, you want to prevent that from get going into the bloodstream. Other examples of combined sensing um, are, are in good examples in agriculture. We combine temperature, pressure, and humidity in sensors that enable uh, remote sensing in multiple areas of a farm. Now that makes it possible to optimize the environment uh, across different zones and allow farmers to maximize their yield while, while lowering their overall costs. It can also be used on equipment for predictive maintenance. Um, you can test if something's out of spec and allow and send signals for, for, for equipment to be serviced ahead of it breaking, which can naturally lead to reduced downtime, increased productivity, and overall saving costs. Now, sensor content is going to continue to grow in more and more applications, providing data to help make decisions. When we look at our industrial and medical markets, we put our focus on getting sensors into harsh environments and in remote locations where we can enable sensing to measure things that were previously impossible. We're excited to be part of this sensor journey and in creating a safer, sustainable, productive, and connected future. Thank you.